there and thank you for joining us for Tuesday's tip. This is week number five and these are brought to you by Vine Images. Before we start, I just wanted to introduce my film crew to you. I have two people that are in the room with me that are helping me to make these Tuesday's tips such a success. I'm Jacob Johnson and I'm the videographer for Tuesday's tip. Thank you for watching. Hi, I'm Jessica Johnson, Julie Johnson's oldest daughter, and I'm the set director. Thank you for watching. I'm so happy you were able to meet two out of my three children. I'm so excited that we're going to be able to work on these together and make it a fun time. They have done a really great job. Last week we discussed a product that I love which is photo props, floors and backdrops and I highly recommend you looking into this product. It's made a world of difference in my photography. This week we're going to be talking about studio lighting. Every photographer is different in how they choose to light their subject. Some prefer natural light where some prefer studio lighting. I personally use studio lighting in every session in the studio. Back when I started, film um, was our only option. They didn't have digital SLRs back then and um, we had to wait for the roll of film to come back from the lab to see what uh, what we created and sometimes, oh my goodness, there were exposure issues and oh like backlighting issues and it was crazy. The blessing with digital is that you get to see your image right away. So I encourage you to play with your lighting like move the lights around, see what, see what happens and how um, it can create a totally different look and mood. And yeah, just have fun with your lights. As you can see from this behind the scenes view, I use two strobe lights with soft boxes attached. Soft boxes create a nice soft feathered lighting that is beautiful and so easy to work with. The large is amazing and the smaller one you can often move and use it as a hair light. I do have another one of these lights as a hair light that I'll bring out on occasion. Both of these are plugged into the ceiling which gives us um, versatility in moving the product around without tripping on the cords. It's been quite an amazing um, thing that we did when we built the studio. Um, these lights as well range from 37 to 1200 watts which gives you the ability to turn down the light and turn up the light as needed. When shooting down on a baby like its face um, wrapped in towels or on a um, like a rug or whatever um, we will angle the softbox almost directly down so the lighting comes down um, a nice soft lighting comes down on the baby and uh, I highly recommend just playing with your lights, moving them around, seeing what, what different mood and, uh, and lighting that it creates. Watch for shadows. If you're getting shadows behind your subjects, move your lights till you don't have the shadows or move your clients away from the backdrop. Okay, so thank you for joining us um, for Tuesday's tip week number five and we will see you next week. Thanks and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.